Oh, right, you tubers. Welcome back to World of Warships with the Angry Nerd. And today, I thought we would take a look at the Italian Tier 4 cruiser, the Alberto di Gisanto. Now, this ship is still currently a work in progress. All stats and statistics will probably change before it hits the live server. Now, we're going to take a look at its modifications, its upgrades, its ammunition and consumables, and the ship's captain, as all of these will affect the stats to come. Now, I think the Tier 4 Jacinto is the first one in the line where you're really getting the true flavor of the Italian cruisers. So, let's take a look at it. Here we go. When you first get the ship, it will fire out to 12.6 kilometers, but you can upgrade that to 13.9 with the gun fire control system modification. It will have 19,300 hit points, but when you upgrade the hull, you can get that up to 24,000. Ammunition and consumables. It does have the semi armor piercing shells and armor piercing shells. It does have torpedoes and you get two consumables. In slot number one, you get damage control party and slot number two, you get the fighter. The exterior of the ship, we have the Type 5 camouflage mounted. Signals, these are the signals I have mounted. I do have Sierra Mike, which is plus 5% to the ship's maximum speed. Flags, we are flying the community contributors flag. I have a 19 point captain assigned to this ship, but I'm only using seven of those 19 points. And here's how they're distributed. A tier one skill, I went for priority target. Tier two, I took two skills. Expert marksman to decrease the tra traverse time. And I took adrenaline rush to decrease re my reload as I took damage. From a tier three skill, I took torpedo armament expertise to reduce my torpedo reload time. So... Let's take a look at the ship stats as it is set up right now. Concealment. Detectability by C 10.8, but you can reduce that with higher captain skills. Detectability by air 4.5 kilometers. Maneuverability. Maximum speed 38.3 knots. That's with Sierra Mike. Turning circle radius 580 meters. Rudder shift 7 seconds. AA is a score of 25. Here is your AA armament and you have the fighter consumable. Torpedoes. You get two tubes on each side. They're 533 millimeters. They fire out to 8 kilometers at 51 knots. Artillery. This ship gets four times to 152 millimeters, which is a little upgrade from the 150 of the tier three. Reload time is 15 seconds. Tur traverse is 31.6 seconds. They fire out to 13.9 kilometers. Maximum H, maximum semi-armor piercing shell damage is 3850 and maximum AP shell damage is 3000. Ship survivability hit points 24,000. Let's take a look at the ship's armor. Ooh, not much armor. 10 millimeters, most everywhere, but you do get 24 down here on the armor belt. And let me skip. Six millimeters, ooh, on the plating down there. So yeah, the conning tower, once again, gets more than everybody else. So somebody important must be in there. 40 millimeters. Anyway, this is how I have the ship set up. It is still currently a work in progress. Let's hop into a game and see what I was able to do. Here we go. Alrighty, we picked up Big Race. Let's take a look at some of these other cruisers. The Charleston, St. Louis, Karlsruhe, Danny, three battleships and two carriers. All right. Here we go. 
me take a second to inform people of my giveaway. Now you see why I don't respond to you when, when you text me in game. You see how long it took me to type that. Oh, hunt and peck. Like a chicken pecking at the keyboard. All right. Oh, air attack. He's not going after me, but maybe my AA can help the battleship a little bit. Got a wakeful right over here. He's close enough. I'd like to be able to get a shot in on him. Nothing. Oh. Hard left. There we go. Missed the destroyer. Let's throw some torques out here in case that Charleston just wants to run into them. Well. Now I'm in a bad spot. Let's just come on around here and get into the smoke screen till I can get my bearings back. Ha! That joker was shooting at me. I don't want to get hit by him or that Kaiser. There's the Charleston. Oh, I totally messed that shot up. I'm gonna wait for this reload. shot off on him before I have to start turning away from this border. And here we go. 1200. Drop some more torps. And he is just going slower than I'm expecting. I 
I just feel like he should be going faster. Well, now he's not going anywhere. Maybe he'll be sitting there when I get this AP loaded. It's 3100. Now let's see how the salvo of AP does. Dodge. Ah, uh, wasn't even 2000. Try one more again. Switch back to SAP. Oh, come on. Fifteen hundred. Frame, frame rate dropped. Forty five hundred on the penny. Twenty four hundred. Friendly Izakazi is way back in the backfield. I don't know how he got so far back there, but maybe maybe he'll knock those carriers off. Turned. Dang it. If I can get over here, I might give this Kaiser some torpedoes. Kaiser's dead. Yogi. Couple of rounds over the hill at him. SAP is not the greatest against battleships. That's almost 2000, 1905. I totally missed that one. Oh, here come some rounds. Two more rounds. He took out my rear turret. Nothing. Non penetration and a ricochet. Alright. Let's 
go ahead and test this SAP again. And most of them hit the hill. The Dan A has come around to try to torque me, it looks like. Let's give him some AP. There you go. 12,000. Happy to assist. Angle from the Myogi. And maybe finish this guy off with SAP. Yep. Okay, wakeful right over here. Oh, dang. That was one round. One round. He spanked my booty. There we go. Goodness gracious. I'm glad those didn't hit. One battleship and two carriers left in the game. The carriers are spotting me. I would like to close in behind these islands and maybe get some torps off on this Wyoming. Carriers are all that's left. Start that fighter. Shots of this Langley. Forty seven hundred. Some AP this time. There we go. There we go. Since this guy's not not brawl side to me, I'm switching back to the SAP. Need to watch out for these torpedo bombers. One of those could sink me. Got nothing. Let's try it this time. Oh, five thousand. Oh, that's probably it. There, yeah, that's it. All right, but we got a decent last salvo in there. Take a look at the score here, 157,000 credits, 1,900 XP with 106 free XP. That's not too bad. Damage wise, 59,329 damage, 7 citadels, 75 target hits, 2 aircraft shot down, 4 ships destroyed, 
we spotted one ship. Let's take a quick look at the team score. First place in the team. So, yeah. Detailed report. 22,000 on the Danae. 12,000 on the Langley. 11,000 on the Charleston. 3,200 on the Wakeful. And a little bit on the Langley and the Maogi. So, yeah. The Jasano Work in Progress Tier 4 Italian Cruiser. It's not bad. It's a little squishy. The SAP is good against destroyers and cruisers. The AP is good against cruisers. It does suffer a little bit when attacking battleships. Um, SAP only averaging between 1,500 and 2,000 damage for me. And, uh, you know, it doesn't set fire. So, yeah. But other than that, I like this ship. Just don't show your broadside too much. Anyway, if you've liked this look at the Jasano, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.